Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Bwana asifiwe tena. Amen. And a very warm welcome to this morning service and a happy Father's Day to all of us or to all the fathers. I'll read from 1 John chapter 3. Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. Beloved, now we are sons of God and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that has this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. Whosoever committeth sin transgress, transgresseth the, also the law, for sin is a transgression of law. And ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not, whosoever sinneth not, sinneth hath not seen him, neither know him. Little children, let no one deceive you. He that doth righteousness is righteous, even as he, our Father, is righteous. We begin this service by singing three songs. Um, takatifu, Takatifu, and then from the great hymns of our faith, How Farmer Foundation followed by the solid rock after which we'll have the scripture reading and the opening prayer takatifu takatifu Ewe Mungu umetukuka mtakatifu 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 hymns of our faith hymn number 268 how far my foundation you saints of the lord is laid of your faith in his excellent word 
What more can he say than to you he hath said? To you who for refuge to Jesus are fled. The soul that on Jesus hath leaned for repose, I will not, I will not desert to his foes. That soul though all hell should endeavor to shake, I'll never, no never, no never forsake. And that is the promise of our Father this Sunday morning that he will never, never, never forsake. How firm a foundation, ye saints of the Lord, he is laid for your faith in his excellent word. What more can he say than to you he has said, to you who for refuge to Jesus are fled? Fear not, I am with thee, O oh, be not dismayed, for I am thy God, I will still give thee aid. I'll strengthen thee, help thee, and cause thee to stand upheld by my gracious omnipotent hand. When through the deep waters I call thee to go, the rivers of woe shall not fully overflow. For I will be with thee thy troubles to bless and sanctify to be thy deepest distress. When through fairy trials thy pathway shall lie, my grace all sufficient shall be thy supply. The flame shall not hurt thee, I only design thy dross to consume and thy gold to refine the last I will not, I will not desire to his force. The souls of hell should endeavor to shake. I'll never, no, never, no, never forsake. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. This song will have our scripture reading and the opening prayer. 272, The Solid Rock. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest spring, but only
welcome the pastor for the scripture reading and the opening prayer. Good morning, church, and welcome again to uh, this beautiful uh, Sunday uh, online service. Today is a wonderful day. Wonderful day because the sun is up, and wonderful day because the Lord has enabled us to be able to be alive. It's also a very special day for the fathers. Happy, happy, happy Father's Day. And to all the fathers who are out there, we commend you. We congratulate you for the responsibility that you have on being a role model to your children, being an example to the community and to the world at large. Fathers lead, and the others follow. So we congratulate you, and once again, happy, happy Father's Day. Uh, the scripture reading for today is number 33, The Good Samaritan. The Good Samaritan. And I'll read. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said unto him, What is written in the law? How readest thou? And he, answered, he answering said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. And he said unto him, Thou hast answered right, this do, and thou shalt live. But he, willing to justify himself, said unto Jesus, And who is my neighbor? And Jesus answering said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his raiment, and wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way. And when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. And likewise, a Levite, when he was at the, at the place, came and looked on him, and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he, had, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion on him, and went to him and bowed upon his woods, pouring in oil and wine, and set him on his own beast, and brought him to a inn, and took care of him. And on the narrow, sorry, and, and on the mor morrow, when he departed, he took out two pens and gave them to the host and said unto him, Take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee. Which now of these three thinkest thou was neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves? And he said, He that showed mercy on him, and, and, and said Jesus unto him, Go and do thou likewise. And God add blessings to his word. Shall we pray? Most precious and wonderful Heavenly Father, we lift up our voices to honor you with thanksgiving deep from our heart for how faithful you have been to each one of us. To how good you have been to each one of us. Yes, we could be having some of us who are going through some issues and some troubles, but that is not equal the goodness that you've shown, the masses that you have shown over your people. And this morning, we rejoice to know 
that you are a God that cares. You are a God that can help. An ever-present help, the Bible says, even in times of trouble. Precious Father, this wonderful moment, as your people gather in their homes to worship together in this online service, I pray that we shall have such a joy bubbling in our hearts as we think through the many blessings and that you have blessed your people with. We pray for those who have got issues in their lives. Thank you that you know us by our names. And precious Father, that brother there and that sister there, that family there that is struggling in one way or the other, as they look up to you in prayer, Precious Father, please hear them and answer them that their joy may be full. We want to pray for Irene, whose husband went to be with the Lord, and her three children, that Precious Father, you continue to walk with them, that you'll visit with them day in, day out, that you console and comfort them as the promise of your word is, O oh Lord. That you keep close to Irene and her children even this time around. And if there is any other brother or sister who perhaps has gone through the same, precious Father, wouldn't you remember them and visit with them and touch them, oh God. We even remember our sister Lillian and her husband, of all, who recently experienced a loss. Gracious Father, wouldn't you also come in for them and encourage them and comfort them, oh God. We pray for Pastor Kagiri and his wife in India. We rejoice to hear the beautiful things you're doing upon pastor's health. That he went through surgery successfully and that he's regaining his strength. And we thank you that you have seen him through so far. Thank you for his wonderful wife, Mrs. Kegiri, who has stood by his, by his side, walking with him and encouraging him. May you add blessings to these wonderful people that are called by your name. And our Heavenly Father, as we sing praises to you, as we have the reading and the preaching of your word, we pray that we shall bless your people, that we shall speak to your people and encourage your people. Those who are in need, gracious Father, meet them at the very point where they need you. Those who are downcasted, oh gracious Lord, lift up their heart to you and encourage them. Put a smile on their heart this morning, that they will have something to rejoice over. And so we thank you and even praise you, even as we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. We continue our service this morning by singing two hymns, 334, Be Thou My Vision, and Tell It to Jesus. Be Thou My Vision, O Lord of my heart, not be i
Tell it to Jesus. Jesus is a friend that's well known. You've no other such a friend or brother. Tell it to Jesus. Tell it to Jesus alone. Jesus alone. Tell it to Jesus. Tell it to Jesus. He is a friend that's well known. You've no other such a friend or brother. Tell it to Jesus alone. Do the tears flow down your cheeks and be then. Jesus, tell it to Jesus. Have you seen that two men's eyes are hidden? Tell it to Jesus alone. Tell it to Jesus. Tell it to Jesus. He is a friend that's unknown. You know other such a friend or brother. Jesus alone. Do you fear the gathering clouds of sorrow? Tell it to Jesus, tell it to Jesus. Are you anxious? What shall be tomorrow? Tell it to Jesus alone. Tell it to Jesus, tell it to Jesus. Jesus alone. Are you troubled at the thought of dying? Tell it to Jesus, tell it to Jesus. For Christ's coming, kingdom are you sighing? Tell it to Jesus alone. Tell it to Jesus, tell it to Jesus. You know other such a friend or brother. Tell it to Jesus alone. This morning I want to address my neighbors, my brothers, my sisters. The Carroll Baptist Church members and other many other neighbors and friends out there. I have a message that I have entitled, I thank God for my neighbors. When I say this, I mean any one of you out there, that you are one of those who are my neighbors, my brothers, my sisters who have stood with me and have shown your neighborliness 
We are told in the book of Luke, chapter 10, verses 25 and the following. On one occasion, an expert of the law stood up to test Jesus. And he said to him, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus asked him, What is written? In the law, how do you read? And the expert said, Love your Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus said to him, You have answered correctly. But then, the expert, to show his cleverness, he asked Jesus, but who is my neighbor? And Jesus said, let me tell you a story. Then you will figure who your neighbor is. A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he fell into the hands of robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him for the dead. A priest, and a priest is a religious person, a priest came by the same road, and when he saw this man beaten and lying there by the roadside, he passed on the other side. Then, a Levite, who is supposed to be also a religious leader who sacrifices for other people. He came and saw the man and he also passed over on the other side. There comes a man who is not even a religious person by the name of a Samaritan. And the Bible says, when he saw the man, he saw the man, he took pity on him, he took pity on the man, and he went by where he was. He came by him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring oil and wine. He put the man on his own donkey, took him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day, he took two silver two pieces of silver and went to the inn and found the host and he told him, Master, look after this man. Take care of him until I return. And any extra expense, I'll take care of. Then Jesus asks the expert of the law, which of these three men would you say was a neighbor? And the expert in verse 37, he said, the one who showed him mercy. Then he was told it so then even you, go and do like that. Just go do what you have seen the Samaritan do. Shall we have our prayer? Father, we have neighbors. They've been kind. They've been merciful. They've been loving. They've been caring. 
and we feel comforted and consoled and encouraged because of the men and women, the brothers and sisters out there whom you have used on our behalf to touch us, to help us in various ways. Would you look at that brother out there? Would you look at that sister out there? Would you look at that relative? And would you bless and reward them for their kindness, for their goodness, their forgiveness? So even as you look who is a neighbor, would you identify and would you show? Those out there, many of them, that you will be able to say, Yes, I am a neighbor. And if I have not been a neighbor, help me to go and do like the Samaritan and their neighbor. We are praying this, trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> now, even if I start to talk about this message. Let me just say a word regarding my health. Several weeks ago, I was put under eight hours of surgery, which was an operation that came successively for me. Ever since that day and time of that surgery of eight hours, I haven't had any pain at all, night or day. I have not been able to fail to eat or to sleep because of pain. I have a couple of things that have been done on me but maybe discomfort here and there, but all told, because of your prayers, my neighbor, because of your mercy, my brother, my sister, I have been blessed of God, I have been helped of God, and I feel very well. And uh, I have been told I have a couple of things I'm going to go through again that uh, there is going to be some additional chemotherapy but there is going to be a procedure to be undertaken on me to close up the place which had been opened up to remove the to remove the, the tumor. And therefore, I am telling you that your prayers have been successful, have been effective, and the God you pray to, and the God you worship, what a wonderful, what a wonderful God. He has been. And so let us look at a few things. I don't want to take a lot of things. I just want to say a few things regarding you out there. If I have been blessed, I've been blessed with many, 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 many neighbors. Some of you, you yeah, are from so far. Some of you will stay a long time without seeing each other. But you've been a useful neighbor who has been used of God on my behalf. You've been a neighbor to Irene Mbogwa and her boys recently that you have stood with her 
and her bodies. Even as they have been left by their loved one and he has gone before them. There is a home beyond the river. And they are going to go one of these days and find he is waiting for them there. Because of your care and because of your prayers. The Motavias, when they have been left by a parent, you will be with them. There has been neighbors and you've been the neighbors for them. And you continue to be those neighbors for them. And so our expert is asking the Lord Jesus Christ, who is my neighbor? And he has told me, let me answer. Perhaps you have an answer. You, you will know who is your neighbor. He was told that out of these people, one Levi passed the other side, and the other one also passed the other side, and the other one came close to him and showed him mercy. How much mercy we have been shown by you? My brother there, my sister there, my relative. How much mercy. So for me, the neighbor is that person who is a merciful person, whoever he is. I'm thinking about a neighbor who sees a man, a woman suffering and goes by and weeps with him and cries with him. Jesus went to help Martha and Mary and he showed them, he saw them weeping and the Bible says Jesus wept. Not weep because he did not know what he could do. He wept because he felt how his friends, these two ladies, also felt for, because of their brother. How many of you have shed your tears with me? How many of you have cried for their pastor? The neighbor who cries with we are not one. I'm reading my Bible about uh, a neighbor who is helpful, a neighbor who the good Samaritan came to where the man was. He was helpless lying there. He came to him put his hand upon him, uplifted him, raised him up. This man was helpless. But then somebody, whatever little he could do, whatever little she could do, they came where he was. And I'm saying, I have known what it means to be helped. I've been helped. Your prayers, your prayers have been helpful. I've been uplifted where I could not have lifted myself, where I could not have done anything. My loved one, my wife, she did. My brothers, my children, they all tried. And they help me. But then there are so many neighbors out there. I'm looking at helpful neighbors. But uh, right now I feel strong because I've been strengthened 
kwae mwae naiba. A naiba hu vezet ala buwan. This man lying down there, the Bible says, the good Samaritan, he went where he was. And I have known brothers and sisters who visit, who have visited. You know, sometimes it's not just a question of being able to travel to come where I am or to go where your brother, your sister suffering is. It is a visiting, a word of encouragement. It is a visiting of a word of prayer. The visiting of saying, we are with you, my brother. We are with you, my sister. We are praying for you. We are standing with you. And oh, I have been told by so many people, and I, I have believed that they have done, they meant that. And so as I come to finish this message, the good Samaritan, he, we are not told, well, I, I don't think he was a rich man, but he took this person, carried him and took him to the inn. And he told the innkeeper, Master, take care of him. Take care of him until I come back. And how many of you are there? How told the master on my behalf? Master, take care of him. Until I come back, until I see him again, take care of him. And I've been taken care of. And I have been of. And so, I just wanted to tell the Lord, I thank you and I praise you. Because of my neighbor, my brother, my sister, of you. Would you reward that brother? Would you reward that sister? Would you bless my neighbor because of what they have done? The story we have read, the, when the Expert was asked, what does the Bible say? What do you read? He said, the Bible says, he said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. So many of you, you love the Lord, your God. Oh, heartedly do love. But then I am told and you are told and we are told. Yes, it's good that you love the Lord with all your heart. Now, the next thing, love your neighbor. I've been loved by my neighbors. You also If you have not already learned what it is to love your neighbor, ask the Lord to show you how you are going to touch in a small way or the other, how you are going to touch the neighbor. And so, the good Samaritan at the end of the day, 
they could not have been compared religiously to the other people. But there is act and action for the Lord and for His name. We are concluding by saying we've been touched, we've been healed, we are being healed. And uh, it is because of your prayers. It's because of your mercy. We are healing. Sooner than later, we are going to see us home, God bring us home. So the expert was asked, out of the three, which one was the neighbor then? Yes. He himself, he had the answer. He said, the one who showed mercy. And I'm saying, I'm looking and I'm thinking about you out there, all of them, all of you there, my neighbors. Thank you for being nearby, for being merciful, for being caring. And Jesus said, go and do likewise. Exactly what you saw, you saw being done by the Samaritan, God right also. May the Lord help me. May the Lord help you. May the Lord reward you. Because of what you have done, and because of what you have been and because of what you are going to do tomorrow and the days to come. Let me pray again. Mm -hmm. Father, thank you for so many of those neighbors. You are the one who have given them to us. It's because of it's not because of how good or how deserving we are. It is because of your mercy. It is because of your care. You have decided to see men and women out there in a big way, in a small way. And uh, I'm being told by the doctors eight hours of surgery successfully. We have, we have removed your cancer. Everything is going on me. Well, and everything is going to take care of you. It's going to come back to normal. And it is because of you living God, your might and your strength, and because of the care of the mercy on my brother, my sister, and the hundreds of neighbors out there who have cared for us. Bless us all and bless them and take care of them. Our family members, you know them and you know their needs. Our children, you know them, you know their needs also. Be their family prayer. Our members in the church, our school community out there. Bless them all we trust, believe in Jesus' name. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's <laughs> Day. Happy Father's Day. What do you say? Amen. <laughs> okay, this is a special dedication to all the fathers there. We wish you a blessed Father's Day. And we're going to sing to you a song, Mtecheni Yesu. Actually, in verse, uh, verse 2, which says, Mtecheni Yesu, vita ni vikali, leo siku ya buwana, atashinda kweli, waume, Twende nae adui ni wengi, lakini kwa kebwana tunanguvu nyingi. Happy Father's Day.